Hey guys, it's Dr. Kanab again, and I want to talk about PRP dosing. All right, so when you have a headache, and you go into the medicine cabinet, you don't reach for the children's Advil, do you? Of course not. You're going to take an adult strength dose, maybe two tablets, maybe even four if the pain's severe, but obviously the dose is important. So when you have an issue with your knee or your shoulder and you're thinking about PRP, you need to make sure that you're getting a dose of platelets that's going to get the job done. And the only way to get a good dose of platelets is to draw out the right amount of blood. It's that simple. The smaller the blood draw, the fewer the platelets, and the weaker your PRP will be. You don't want a weak PRP, do you? Of course not. So most of the time, you need a minimum of 50 cc's of blood, but sometimes that's not even enough. So how do we figure out how much blood we need to draw for your PRP? Well, that depends. If you're in your 20s and you're healthy and you've got a normal platelet count, then 50 cc's of blood is probably going to be enough. But if you're a little bit older like me, you may need more or you may want more platelets in your PRP. Plenty of studies are now showing that the older we get, the more platelets we need in our PRP in order to have the desired outcome. A good reference number is 8 billion platelets for a PRP injection in your knee. If all these numbers are confusing, don't worry. You just need to make sure that your doctor is measuring your baseline blood platelet count and also measuring the platelet count in your PRP. How can we do this? Simple. We use the same machine that labs use to check for infections and anemia. It's called a hemoanalyzer, and it allows us to check your baseline platelet levels and PRP platelet levels before we even start. And if we check your baseline platelet count and it's a little bit low, but still normal, all we need to do is draw out more blood to get the target dose of 8 billion platelets. If you're someone who's getting a little older, you may also decide with your doctor that you want to do a double dose of platelets. No problem. All we need to do is draw out double the amount of blood. It's surprising that even in 2024, most doctors don't understand the importance of dosing when it comes to PRP. Even more surprising, there are still plenty of doctors using kits that make really weak PRP. Crazy, right? Sometimes weak PRP works, but more often than not, it doesn't. So what can you do to make sure that your PRP dose is the right dose? Ask your doctor if they measure your baseline blood platelet levels. If they don't, why not? Also, if they're not measuring your baseline blood counts, how do they know you don't have a low-level infection going on? I've seen this. Does that sound good? No, it doesn't. Ask your doctor what dose of platelets you'll be getting during your injection. If they give you a funny look and can't give you a simple, straightforward answer, maybe you should keep looking. And finally, ask your doctor if they are taking into consideration your baseline platelet levels and your age when figuring out what dose of PRP is best for you. After all, it's your body, your blood, and your money. Why not get it right the first time? All right. Thanks, guys. This uh, hope this was helpful.